Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at steric number two shapes. Uh, so these are shapes with the only possible combinations would be two bonding areas, zero lone pairs, or a one bonding area and one lone pair, which in this case would actually be just a straight line because it would be the uh, bond between two different atoms. So let's take a look at an example. HCN. This is hydrogen cyanide. So let's draw what the lowest structure would be. Now, uh, you should have had enough practice on drawing lowest dot structures to know that the lowest dot structure for HCN will look like this. Okay, so now that we know what the lowest dot structure is, let's determine how many bonding areas and lone pairs we have around the central atom. Well, this is our central atom. And it looks like there's a bond here and there's a triple bond there. So there are two bonding areas around carbon. Now remember that bonding areas, again, are areas where there are bonds. So that happens to be either a single or a double or a triple bond. Any one of these three different kinds of bonds is still considered one bonding area. So, and if we look at carbon, again, there's two areas where there's bonds. Now let's determine how many lone pairs we have around the central atom. Now, although this looks like there's a lone pair right here on nitrogen, we're only concerned about this central atom. There are no lone pairs around it, zero lone pairs. Well, if we happen to have two bonding areas and zero lone pairs, so that's two plus zero, that gives me a steric number of two. And we said that for all steric number two molecules, we have a shape that's linear. Now, since we've already drawn this Lewis dot diagram right here, it's pretty simple. That actually could be sufficient, or it may be sufficient enough for uh, your teacher. Um, in my class, that would be fine. So if you happen to draw it just like this, just like how I have it drawn, up there in the Lewis dot diagram, this would work for me. And this happens to be a linear structure. And there you go. Now again, it's linear, so that means it's one dimensional. There is a length and then that would be it. If you were to draw this using uh, spheres, okay, to connect each one of these atoms, I would go ahead and just put a circle right here on the hydrogen, a circle right here on the carbon, and a circle right here on the nitrogen, and then my lone pair around it right here. And let me go ahead and circle that, so then you know that that would be it. So there's my structure, hydrogen cyanide. It is a linear structure, two bonding areas, zero lone pairs. All right, let's take a look at some additional steric numbers and the possible shapes that they may have. I'll talk to you soon.